So guys, today we are in the windy Blackpool and the Norbrook Castle Hotel. We're staying here tonight, we're going to do a review, all the bad trip advisor reviews that we've seen. Let's go and see and have a look what it's all about. This is Claire. We are travelling with the A's. This is Archie. Let's go. size guys this is a weird space isn't it mm -hmm. Sort that out. Which roof is in the pudding, it's yeah. just what class, and that's what they're doing. So we found it, guys, the ballroom. <laughs> no, it's locked. A ballroom, I don't know whether you can see, guys. There. So, guys, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. I actually think so as well. So okay. let's carry on exploring, guys. We're in the Norbrecht Castle in Blackpool. Let's carry on going. Let's go. It's a bit of a maze, guys. So far, so good, eh? Yeah, I mean, again, first impressions. For what we paid for this room, That's two where we are, and it's only £3 24 hours as well. Ah. Transport right out the front as well for you to Sorry. jump on a tram to get into the main centre of everything. Yeah. This little stretch here, weird kind of terrace corridor. Comment below guys if you know what the Richmond suite is. And the Langley suite is. And the Blenheim suite. I'm guessing the function room wins a winner. Again, looks very basic. How weird is this? The old wireframed glass. Go on then. Oh. This door has been left open. So you see a clean is covered, but it's been left open with all the cabinets down there. I like, I like it. Yeah, do you like this I like it. Yeah, it's, it's weird. You're in Blackpool, one of the busiest beach resorts in the UK. A room that is £32. Yeah. You now we've not got any in our room yet. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. Board filled over there, guys. Okay, so there's obviously another entrance there. So guys, just behind us is the swimming pool. Not fairly small by the looks. If you've been in there before, comments below.
Strange colour contrast. So one thing we can say is this is proof that all these rooms are getting fresh beddings on. just come walking through the corridor we've heard this noise it's coming through the window so if you were uh, at this room so that's something you really want to be listening to all night anyone stayed in that this room and you've had you've had that noise before coming down below oh. it's actually the staircase a bit too The bedrooms must be actually upstairs, so I want to be one of the streets. It's obviously proof that housemates are doing a job. Because if you take a look down there, you can see what was either a pond or a swimming pool. There's a couple of them down there, which could have potentially once been a nice little swimming pool or water feature. Blue man off blue dabber day. This one actually. So we finally got to our room. So we did check in earlier on, but we popped out because uh, we were waiting to, to get the key. We we're, were quite early. We are in 161. So let's have a look at our room. Here we go. Here we go. So immediately, as we walk in, there's a desk right in front of the door as you walk in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, 911. 911. No, we're not in America. 911. We're not in America. Okay. So, so upon first impressions, again, not bad. Bit mixy match with furniture. So the pillowcases are clean, the pillars are a bit high. Nah. Clean. 
but they're clean. There's a little mark on here, which we'll probably do with boil wash. And inside, there's no marks, it's clean. No stains, no. No stains. It's not the greatest mattress topper. It's just faded. Headboard. Dick says there's a bit of paint. There's a oh, mark on the wall. Yeah. See any stains or anything. So down. far, the bed we've had a look, we've had a good look. Pillows, duvets, bed sheets, absolutely fine. It's a basic it's room. It's a basic room in £32 for in a perfect location. What more could you ask for? So, guys, as you can see, we've got a little air to bed. Here's an Adam, absolute blast of a day today. Cups, there is a little stain on there. You've got your plastic tray, cups, yeah, clean. So there is a little bit of dust in the handle, clean inside. Quickly check on the drawers. You've got hair dryer hair in there. Dryer. Some stainage on the carpet. Um, could have done with a deep clean really. The lampshade, one of them doesn't work. This one does. There's, there's marks on the outside. Could do with a clean. Bit of sif on that. But look at this, guys. I mean, how long does it take for a quick paint job? Radiator again. Don't know what that is. Ah, no, I have just spotted something. What's going on above the wardrobe there, guys? Or a hole in the wall? All in the wall, it takes five minutes for some filler, quick paint over, TV. Into the bathroom we go guys. Splash marks I'm guessing, shelvings, not very clean. There is a hair on it, dirty dirty marks, not sure what they are. Towels, first couple of towels, absolutely fine. Um, and then we've come across uh, hair. The side of the towel, which isn't very nice, a big black hair. Back there's another hair there as well, guys. Toilet looks clean. The sink, a few scuff marks now. Also, as well around the edge of the rim there of the overflow hole, looks a bit dirty. Inside, a few marks around. It really could do with a bit of sif on it, maybe. On the floor, there's a bit of hair stuck to the back of the cladding there. Down to the shower now, there's scuff marks on the cladding of the shower. Let's have a look at the bath. And again, could do really with a bit of sif on it. Yeah, not too great. Again, you look at the edge, it looks a bit like the coral reef. Um, oh, guys. Not great. That, to be honest, looks like a pubic hair. What I have noticed, but I don't think that mattress is very, very good. Right. It feels springs, yeah. They're cheap rooms in brilliant locations. Somewhere you need a base for, to put your head down, to go and make them family memories like we have today. You would pay for what you get. If you pay £100 a night for this room, then fair enough. Okay, you can complain about some little gripes. I think hairs, pubic hairs in the bathroom. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, Claire's not happy <clears throat> about that. It's not gonna sick. <clears throat> and hairs in the towels that we found are not great. They, that really shouldn't be happening. But overall, we're paying thirty-two pound to put our head down for the night. Uh, the hotel again. Walk around. Not as grand and historic as the other Britannia hotels that we've stayed at. But I quite like how it's kind of been set out this one. It's yeah, got a bit more family ent entertainment. We obviously, we have a paranormal events company, so the historic buildings for us do do it for us. And we love seeing the old historic buildings and hearing about the old stories. And if it's haunted, brilliant. But it's just a bit more down to earth, this one. I think it's because there's families here. We've got the entertainment here. You've mentioned that you could go with other well-known um, hotel chains and pay you, more for a room. And you wouldn't have, and you wouldn't have that entertainment. I think we'll say, yet again, 
it's not the greatest, but you're paying £32 for a room. I'm starting to kind of wonder where these people are that put all of these horrendous reviews on. Reviews that they have actually been getting. Yeah, yeah um, I'll agree there. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get our heads down tonight on this bed. I think this is probably going to be the way. Uh, so we'll see what our night's sleep tonight uh, brings. Uh, we've heard that it's quite noisy. We have had a few external noises so far in the night. So let's see what tonight brings out. And we'll see you in the morning, guys. Good night. Bye. So, good morning, everyone. It's currently quarter past nine in the morning. We actually... Had a sleep in, to be honest. Whoa. Sleep wise, how did you sleep? I slept five. I slept five. A couple of times I had to wake up. Um, no noise contamination from any of the room. Um, so overall, uh, a good night's sleep. Just what we needed after a, a long busy day. day. Yeah. Yesterday. The uh, No Breakfast Castle know. Hotel in Blackpool. Tanya Hotel, would you stay here again, Claire? Fantastic location. Alright, hotel. Yeah. yeah. I would as well, yeah. Overall, like I said, there's a few odds and sods that need sorting, um, a few cleaning issues. But for a £32 room, I go wrong again and we'd definitely stay here again because of the location where it's in. We can get a trout. We got one right the way down to the Pleasure Beach yesterday and it was £4.50 per person. Um, and literally the, the tram stops right outside the hotel. Um, is it as bad as everyone yeah. says? I don't think so. No, I don't. Get yourselves booked if you come to Blackpool. Yeah, we'll leave links below for you guys to get yourselves booked. Uh, if you've liked the video guys give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed it's absolutely free and uh, click the notification bell so guys that was the norbrecht castle in blackpool the tanya hotels was it as bad as everyone says yeah there's a few odd and sods that need doing a few paid jobs this that and the other but 32 pounds a base in blackpool to make them family memories you can't complain Click the link below if you wish to book, guys. I'm Chris. Claire's over there with Archie. This is Travel with the Years. Bye. Bye. Bye.